Hello and welcome to this uh, gastric sleeve surgical case. We will begin the surgery by dissecting the greater omentum on the greater curvature of the stomach. This right here is the stomach. And we will work ourselves through to the upper part of the angle of his, which is the upper part of the stomach. Continue the same path, working ourselves to the upper part of the stomach. This is where the stomach is the closest to its next door neighbor organ, the spleen. This particular patient, she's a female patient, has some adhesions on the posterior wall of the stomach toward the pancreas. Quite common to see. How was your nice arriba? This is the last part of the short gastric vessels that connect to the spleen. That organ that you see on your right side of the screen, that's the spleen. And on your left, that would be the stomach. That would be the last portion. be the top part of the stomach and that'll be enough. We're headed to the lower part of the stomach toward the pylorus now. Sonder. Hay unas arenas de este lado. Un segundo, Chuy. Okay. Sonder. Now we will be introducing a 32 French bougie. From the patient's mouth all the way down to the last portion of the stomach and through the pyloric valve, which is this white area that you see right there. Sacala un poquito, sacala, 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 I see. I see.
right. All right. Bougie has passed through. Yeah. Well, now we're we're gonna calibrate the sleeve. Mete la sonda, che. Dale para atrás despacio. Más, más, un poquito más. Bueno. All right. First cartridge. Sonda. Okay. We wait a while, create some compression, less bleeding once the blade cuts. And this instrument separates the stomach, staples both sides and cuts through the middle as you will be seeing right about here. There it is. Second load. Sonda, we move the bougie, make sure we're not compressing it with the stapler. Tercero acá abajo, arriba. As we work ourselves through, this is a third load, third stapler cartridge. Sonda, again, create a little bit of compression just for a few seconds. And we continue the cartridge path. Faltan como dos, Ulises. Fourth load, Sonda. Estoy nomás comprimiendo. Falta este y otro. Poquito. So we are pausing right now because when we create a compression on the stomach in some patients, not every patient, in some patients that are very sensitive, there is a nerve that uh, goes through the GI tract called the vagus nerve and uh, very commonly uh, produces bradycardia, which is a low uh, heart rate, which is what's happening right now. The anesthesiologist is adding a little bit of medication to bring, that, bring those numbers up. And once it's more stable and safe, we will proceed. Actually, he'll let, he'll let me know. At this point, I can back off. I can decompress the stomach, which I'm not doing. I, everything's safe at this point, so I'm just waiting for the heart rate to go up, and then I will proceed and take advantage of this compression on the, st on the stomach.
Nice boy. All right, good to go. There we go. See how those numbers don't go down anymore. They're actually going high. See. Now we're missing our one more cartridge, one more load, and we will be fini finishing the section of the stomach. This is the last load. Así nos vamos, ¿no? Sondar. Again, every time I close the stapler, make sure the bougie is moved. Make sure we're not grasping the bougie. All right. At this point, that's the sleeve. Uh, many surgeons leave the sleeve as is at this point, and they finish the procedure, which is which is okay. Uh, in our case, we like to uh, introduce a suture. That this is a, a 2-0 absorbable suture uh, with this instrument called endostitch. And what we'd like to do is reinforce the staple line. By doing so, it is proven to lower any post-op bleeding. And uh, by doing so, it just takes us a couple of minutes and we believe it is truly, truly worth it. So that's the, the beginning of the suture. Uh, we go side by side, all the way down to where we started stapling. clip. At this point we have a little, sometimes we don't see any uh, any of those vessels because it, uh, the needle is going side by side from the stomach and the stomach has a lot of vessels. So just to be on the safe side, we place a clip there to create some compression, avoid any bleeding, and we continue ourselves down. This procedure is very personalized because it all depends on the patient's goals, the patient's uh, stomach at the time of surgery, how big it is, how lengthy it is, how long it is, the shape of the stomachs, uh, of the patient's stomach, and that is how we decide what shape and how we craft this sleeve for this patient. 
This will be the end of the sleeve. This is where it ends, or where we started stapling. These are the first staples that you see right there. And this is where we throw a little knot here to finish it off. And now we truly believe this sleeve is completed. Sonda. I'm gonna be removing the bougie. Pale. And that's the final product. That's the final sleeve right there. We're gonna be cutting the excess of the suture. Just to be, just because of routine, you don't see any blood. It's pretty much uh, safe and bloodless. But we will be introducing, because this is our protocol, a gauze. Clean up any drops of blood. It's pretty much bloodless. Check the whole staple line. Make sure nothing is bleeding. Everything is nice and clean. It's beautiful all the way down. I'll take off, take out the excess of the suture. And now we will be uh, pulling the part of the stomach that we are removing out from the patient's body. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And here it comes. All right, so that's what we're removing out from the patient creating less stomach capacity and of course all the hormonal changes that will benefit this patient metabolically we check the staple line again nothing is bleeding make sure everything is nice and clean everything's good Corredera. everything looks really good and we remove the gauze that needs to come out now we'll be closing this, uh, the exit port, the port where we remove the patient's uh, stomach out. That's the biggest incision, the biggest port. And we use this instrument called M-Close. What we're doing right now is applying local uh, anesthetic there. The last between 24 and 48 hours. I'll be removing at the same time the patient's liver retractor. This right here, it looks like a hook uh, from the patient. Thank you. This instrument creates a loop of thread that we can close from the inside out to uh, prevent any hernias from developing in that area. Make sure all the trocar sites, the entry ports, the entry areas are not bleeding. Everything's good. And we are done with this procedure. Thank you so much for joining us.